Hey everyone, I'm back with another thrift with me. If you are new here, my name is Allie and I'm a reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Curtsy. And I'm about to head over to the San Diego bins. So let's see what we can find. Normally my strategy at the bins is just to start in the back and then work my way to the front. But while I was walking through, some shoes caught my eye. And so you'll have to stay tuned for the haul to see what shoes I ended up grabbing. But this day there were a lot of vans and they were a smaller size and I thought they were kids at first, but they were just a women's size 5. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't picked up shoes at the bins yet is because there's not concrete pricing. Um, there's more of a range. I'll go ahead and put up the pricing up here. But it's kind of up to the cashier's discretion how much they'll charge you. And so I just, you know, haven't found shoes I felt worthy enough to bring up to the counter. But the, I did find four pairs of shoes this day. So again, you'll have to stay tuned to see what those were. There were some intriguing brands, but just the condition wasn't the greatest. And I personally don't like cleaning shoes or storing shoes. So that's why I did pass on some maybe good shoes. But moving on to the clothing bins, this bin did have some cool men's pieces that I would have liked to pick up to either sell myself or take to Buffalo Exchange, but none of them were in good enough condition. These corduroy boohoo man pants were a cool style, but they had some staining, didn't want to deal with that. And I knew by the feel of this shirt it was Lululemon or Viore or something. It was Lululemon, but it had some bleach staining, which is basically irreversible, so gonna leave that behind and this was a unique low printed button down shirt again had some staining potentially you could stain treat it but i don't think it's worth my time if i was just gonna take it to a buy sell trade store this is a pack sun pretty cool um like patchwork flannel nice style did have some pilling but i threw it in my cart to decide later um if something does intrigue me i don't look at it too hard instead i just throw it in my cart and sort through everything at the end and decide then because if you see something that you maybe might want to pick up it's best just to throw it in your cart or else it's going to be hard to try and find it again or someone else might grab it so better safe than sorry but the rest of this bin was pretty much a bust for the most part a lot of um like just lower end brands or stuff that just wasn't even even in good condition to begin with so yeah, but I did continue looking through this bin and I found these Fuji Jiu-Jitsu Gi Pants. And if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen that there is a lot of money in Jiu-Jitsu Gi's or there can be. But those were just the pants. Um, if it was a full set in pretty good condition, I would have picked them up and would have expected maybe like at least a $50 sale on that. Jiu-Jitsu Gi's are pretty expensive. So I would say any gi in good condition, no matter the brand, would be worth picking up and you should be able to get at least $30 for it. If it is a super nice brand in good condition, you could get definitely get over $100, over $200 for it. But yeah, didn't find anything in that bin actually. But this bin was such a treat because I found so many good plus size items. These are some Torrid bootcut jeans in great condition. So threw those right in my car. I love selling Torrid. These Lane Bryant jeans were more worn, so I left those behind. But when it comes to plus size, I find it easier to sell based on style and size. So I'm not as picky when it comes to the brand. Um, but Torrid is one of my favorites. These are some leggings. Um, they did look a bit pilled, but I threw them in my cart to look over later. And then we got another pair of Torrid leggings. These ones had some manufactured rips. So again, I'll look those over later. Those 32 degrees cool pants is just like a Ross brand. So didn't think it'd be worth it to pick those up. JM Collection is just a department store brand from like Macy's. But since those were like a nice glitter wide leg pant, I threw those in and I'm hoping for a quick sale. Um, this brand... Tara and Sky is just from Walmart, so I could have maybe lotta, lotted up the pieces that were in the same size, but I didn't really feel like doing that, so I just left those behind. These are some old navy jeans, again, bootcut style. 
These ones are pull-on though with the elastic waist. Um, I did throw those in my car as well. I don't know if all this stuff was from the same person because they seem to be um, a little bit of a range of sizes. But yeah, there were some people that came over to this bin right about now. So I did stop recording, but I did find some other really nice plus size pieces that you'll see in the haul. So just again, stay tuned for all that stuff. On to the next bin. This ASO sweater was in pretty good condition. It said lover in different languages. I thought about taking it to buy, sell, trade, but I'm trying to only pick up stuff that would be close to a guarantee that they would accept. So I wasn't too sure about that one since it was an older ASOS tag. But I love picking up stuff at the bins to take to buy, sell, trade because it's a pretty instant way to get a payout, whether it be cash or store credit. And then you just use the store credit to buy some nice pieces to flip. Um, this shirt did feel really nice. It was from the Nike Tech line, which is a more expensive Nike line, but it was a bit dingy and I didn't really feel like trying to clean it up, so left that behind. At the bins, I don't normally find super expensive items that would be a pretty high dollar flip for me. It's normally just bread and butter items that I end up selling for around $20, but I'm definitely happy with that profit considering I only pay $2 per item. But yeah, that's basically it for the thrift with me portion here. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing videos just of thrifting with me, like a 30 minute or something video of me going through the bins and then a separate haul video. I can do that. I just don't know how many people want to see me sifting through kind of like the undesirable stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in a video like that or you just prefer thrift with me slash hauls like this video. But yeah, moving on to my cart. This is my cart before sorting and this is everything I ended up throwing back. I found this in that plus size bin. It's from Lane Bryant. It had some nice embroidery, but there was that flaw right there in the neckline. These Michael Stars pants were 100% linen, but they were a little bit basic for my liking. And then this Paxson shirt ended up passing on. I just wasn't really feeling it. Didn't feel like listing it or taking it to a buy sell trade store. And this Banana Republic sweater was new without tags, but again, basic and not a notable fabric content either. I thought this style was cool. They were from Seven for All Mankind. They had like a cool hem, some cool stitching, but they were a skinny style and a smaller size. This Columbia vest was also pretty nice, but it was kind of matted, so not really feeling it. I was thinking about taking this to buy, sell, trade, but just didn't really want to. And then these torrid leggings were kind of like a glittery fabric, but there was some wear on them, and where the wear was, the glitter had come off, so not worth my time. This dress was 100% silk, but an older style. And then Judy Blue, I've heard does well, but these were a skinny fit. So I just didn't really feel like selling them because I didn't know if they would be a quick sale, which is kind of what I'm looking for with my bins pickups. This is another older piece from Zara. I thought maybe it would be good for the holidays, but I don't want to wait on them to sell till the holidays. Loft, um, linen blend shorts, not really feeling them. I had to look this up because I thought maybe it would be like a cool brand that would be worth the pickup, but it didn't really look like it would be worth too much. So toss that right back. This is a kid's item from Hannah Anderson, but you can tell it was kind of discolored. Didn't really think I would be able to get anything for it really. Boohoo Man pants, um, just too basic. Again, I wasn't super confident that the buy sell trade store would pick them up. So I didn't want to be left with them. Um, again, toward leggings, these ones had a bit more wear. So I left those as well because, again, pretty basic. I was looking forward to this sweater because it was J. Crew lamb's wool, nice sweater. But it had that flaw right there. So tragic. Um, this was a nice merino wool plate piece from Gap. Um, but again, I thought about it. Didn't feel like selling it. Um, I was thinking maybe this Vans shirt could potentially be something. It wasn't. Same thing with this long sleeve tee. It was champion, but ended up not being anything. 
Okay, I'm back and I would say that was a success. I ended up getting two 15 item bundles, so 30 pieces of clothing and four pairs of shoes, which isn't bad for less than two hours of shopping. Um, I've never gotten shoes at the bins before because they don't price them by the pound. Instead, there's like that range. I'll put up the picture of what the price range is and it's kind of up to the discretion of your cashier and I could tell my cashier was newer because I've never seen her there before and so I feel like some I might have gotten a deal on some of these shoes because uh, I feel like other cashiers might have priced them a bit higher um, but not by much just like a few dollars but the first pair of shoes I'm gonna keep for myself they are these on running shoes they are the cloud shift runners and they're my size so I'm gonna keep them um, I'll probably throw them in the wash first and I mean they're just for me so like I could scrub the soles but probably won't because I'm just gonna wear them um, doing you know active activities but yeah those are for me and then this next pair of sneakers um, they also she also charged me five dollars for and they're these Adidas shoes and I just thought they looked cool and they weren't like some of the itty bitty sizes that were in the bins. These are a woman's eight and a half. And I did quickly use Google Lens and it looks like there was like a Disney collab that looked honestly identical to these um, with uh, Corella DeVille. And I don't, I'm assuming that was like around the time the movie came out. But for those ones on the tongue, on one side there's Stan Smith and on the other there's Corella DeVille. But these, both just have Stan Smith on them. So I take it these are not the Cruella shoes, even though they do look identical, but I did see like other people selling these shoes that didn't have Cruella on them. And it seems like I could, you know, at least get like 30 for them. They're in pretty good condition. Um, maybe I'll scrub them a little bit, but I don't really like cleaning shoes. So I don't know, we'll see. And then these are, some keens at first i kind of thought they were kids size but they're a woman's seven and a half and they're just this beige color i forget the name these are what the newport right the newport sandals i would think i should be able to get around 30 dollars for these um did i say they charged me three dollars for these and then the last pair of shoes these are the first shoes i saw on top which made me go over to the shoes and they are kids, but they're Doc Martens, and I thought they were super cute. They have these glittery stars on them, patent leather, and they're like a larger kid size. Like, they're not toddlers. They're like, you know, an actual, they're, what are they? They're a size four, so maybe even an adult with small feet could fit into them. And at first, I forget what price she said. But I was like, oh no, those are kids' shoes. And so she was like, okay, then $3. <laughs> so I paid $3 for these kids' Doc Martens. They were right on top of the bin, like I said. So maybe someone grabbed them and then threw them back once they realized they were kids. But, you know, I don't know how much I would be able to get for these if these were like a women's size. I've never sold Doc Mar Martens before, but I'm thinking I could at least get like 25 for them. So um, I would say it's worth it. Back to school season, maybe someone's looking for these. So yeah, those are the shoes. Uh, let me know if you think those prices were worth it for those shoes. But yeah, onto the clothing. This first thing is not clothing, but I just, I, maybe I could have had them price it by the pound. I forget how much it is per pound for small hard goods and toys and stuff, um, but yeah anyway this is a like replaceable backpack straps for it it seemed like they can be compatible for different kinds of backpacks not just like gregory branded backpacks but yeah they're a women's like replacement backpack strap um i it seemed like prices were kind of all over the price place when i was looking at the retail price um, but I think I should at least be able to get 20 for these. So I'm happy about that. It's an easy listing. I don't normally sell like card goods, but they are easy listings. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how that will do. But moving on to the actual clothes, these are some airy, 
like lounge pants and they are they do have a little bit of wool in them actually four percent wool um yeah they're just a ribbed wide leg pant there is a little bit of pilling but definitely still you know functional pants super soft um i think maybe at least you know between like 18 and 22 um i could sell those for and then these are some abercrombie shorts they're the mom short high rise never actually sold any shorts just jeans but i'm thinking um since the jeans are pretty popular maybe that means the shorts will be as well so i think you know at least maybe 18 for those um and then these are some urban outfitters pants i've sold these before but like in a cheetah print these are a camo print um like straight leg cotton lightweight pant um might be good for like back to school i think and then this was one of the pieces in that women's plus size bin i hit this is just target ava and viv it is a 3x but I really like the style. It kind of, they're both striped, but I would say kind of mixed print. Floral embroidery, nice lightweight dress. I think it could be nice for both summer and fall. So I would say, you know, 15 for that. And then something else from that bin. These are the Old Navy boot cut pull-on pants. Size, what was the size on these? um 26 so yeah just a denim pull-on pant there is a little bit of fading around the waistband but other than that they're in really good condition no wear or pilling or anything so again maybe just around like 18 to 22 for those um yeah i'm hoping with back to school and the fall coming up jean sales will pick up but yeah and then i did hit not necessarily like a full bin of men's plus size items, but there was like a few men's kind of larger sizes and I had a feeling they were from the same person. Um, some of the stuff wasn't in like good condition, but I think I picked up like two things. These are some old navy pants. They're like a nice, I mean, maybe like golf pant. They, they're called the Tech Hybrid Slim 4-Way Stretch and they're a 50 by 34 just a nice gray pant could be worn for golf could be worn casually could be worn maybe even like business casual setting they're in great condition so maybe just like 15 to 18 for those and then I've never picked up this brand before and I don't know where I've heard about this brand because I've obviously heard about it from somewhere if I knew what this was when I saw the tag this is what the tag looks like if you can see but i saw it and i was like oh ten tree and i don't know where i heard about that there's no like it doesn't say ten tree on here anywhere it's just like that logo or tag um but i think i should be able to sell this maybe for around like 20 25 dollars it's this waffle knit open front hooded cardigan in good condition um I forget what their selling point is. I don't know if it's like sustainability or basics or something, something probably around those lines. So I know they do have a following. I don't believe the retail price was like ridiculously high. So yeah, I think just around like 20 to 25 for that. And then this is a free people sweater, size medium. Let me check, see if the fabric was anything notable. Uh, no, just polyester acrylic. It is really soft though, kind of just this sweater. There is some like fuzzies and stuff that I'll need to kind of clean up a little bit, but pretty nice basic sweater, maybe just around like 20 for that. And then I think this was also, maybe this wasn't in the same plus size, but it was in a different bin. Um, but it's from, again, from Target. This is the A New Day brand double x linen blend midi dress and i thought this would be great for fall because of the color kind of that um, i don't know not necessarily it's not mustard but this kind of like burnt orangey color would be good for fall but it also does have some linen so good for summer um so yeah midi length again probably just like 15 to 18 for that dress it is a bit heavier like i think it's over a pound 
So shipping will be a bit more expensive for the buyer. So maybe just around 15 instead of 18. And then this, I don't know if I, this will be a piece I regret getting, but probably not because I could still take it to buy, sell, trade store and get a little profit there. I, it didn't, the brand tag itself didn't like catch my eye at all. Like I just thought it was something cheap, but luckily for them, the material tag is right below it and it says 100% silk. So I probably would have passed on this, although I saw this fabric in the bin and it caught my eye, which is why I looked at it. But it's this maxi dress, like, you know, 100% silk. And I guess it kind of has some texturing to the print. Like, I don't know what to call this material. I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of textured. It almost feels like flocked, um, but just on some areas. So yeah, it looked like it was in really good condition. It has like maybe like half sleeves, I would say that length is. And then the back, it has this clasp at the top of the neck and the back has this like cutout. So yeah, it's a size medium, 100% silk. I don't necessarily think anyone's looking for this brand. I tried to look it up, didn't really find anything. It was a very quick search though. But since, you know, it is 100% silk, if it's still sitting, you know, in like a year or even shorter than that, if it's just not getting any attention, you know, since it is 100% silk, I think I would get a pretty decent payout from like Buffalo Exchange or something. So yeah, let me know what you personally would price it at. I don't know what I'll price it at. It is a maxi dress, which I like um, silk. So yeah, we'll see what I end up pricing that at, but Hopefully I could at least profit $20 from it, um, but more would be great. Um, so yeah, to be determined on that piece. But next, this is from that bin. I think you saw these in the thrift with me. They are Torrid, size four, and they have some distressing to them, but behind the distressing is like fishnet netting, I guess you can say. Um, so it might be good for Halloween actually as part of a costume. I don't know if you, you could probably see it better like that. Yeah, it might be good for a Halloween costume. Um, or just wearing it like that is a vibe as well. Um, probably just around $15. And then these are some J. Crew men's shorts, 35, size 35, the length is nine inches. Just a nice, like again, like golf short, casual short. Um, probably just around $18 for these. And then this is a button front shirt from Top Man. And yeah, I could take it to Buffalo Exchange, but I really like this print. I think it's cool. I think someone would like it. So I'm going to try listing this myself first, you know, just around like 15, just fast fashion. But I think the print is really cool. I think someone would like wearing this. So hopefully you know, I'll be able to sell that myself, but if not, Buffalo Exchange is always a good backup. Uh, let's see, these are some Torrid boot cut jeans again. These ones are 28 shorts. So yeah, Torrid boot cut jeans. Torrid jeans don't move the best for me. So honestly, I'll probably list them at maybe like $22 and expect like 18 to $22, which I feel like is not very much for jeans, like a nice pair of jeans, but Tory jeans just don't historically haven't done very well for me. I guess I've never sold Tory boot cut jeans before, so maybe someone, maybe the maybe the boot cut style will do better, but I feel like I've had some really good Tory jean styles, like straight leg or wide leg, and they just haven't done as well as I thought they would do. So I don't know, um, I would hope for, you know, 22, but maybe even like if they're not selling 15 to 18 for them. So we'll see. But this sweatshirt I found with those old navy pants, old navy men's pants, and these are a 4X tall. This, not these, this is a 4X tall. It's just a crew neck sweatshirt, very basic, but a larger men's size, it's in great condition. So I'm hoping someone will want it, maybe just for like $15. And then again, from that plus size bin, I love these pants. I was hoping when I saw the fabric that they would be 
something that I would want to pick up and not just like Shein or something. And it's JM Collection, which is what just sold at like Macy's or something, size 3X. But they're so nice. They're like this elastic waist pull on um, glitter metallic striped pant. Perfect for like the holiday season. Hopefully they sell before the holidays, but you know, if I still have them for the holidays, I think they'll definitely sell by then. Uh, maybe just around 18 to 22. Again, that seems, that's normally like my pricing is like, I'll price something at 22 and then like offer them, you know, between 18 and 19. Um, but yeah, this is an Urban Outfitters little top. I've sold this before, so very easy listing. Um, I think it sold on Curtsy last time. So again, just copy and paste the title. Um, probably just around 15 for that, but a nice Urban Outfitter style, good for like back to school if someone has like a dress code or something. But yeah, these are some pants I found and they wouldn't have caught my eye if they were like a smaller size, but they are a size 3X. They're Disney and the tag, as you can see, says Mickey Mouse, but I thought on the leg this graphic seemed kind of cool it's mickey and then on the back it says mickey and friends genuine mouseware <laughs> and i was like okay genuine mouseware that sounds kind of like an attempt to sound fancy so i threw in my car and yeah i don't know what this genuine mouseware line is it seems like it's just like a line of stuff it doesn't it didn't seem to be super fancy but some people had these listed for like I don't know over 60 I don't I don't think comps reflected that sale price but I think I should be able to sell these between 20 and 30 dollars they're in pretty good condition maybe lightly faded but overall in great condition the graphics are great no cracking or anything so yeah I'm, I'm personally not a Disney person so I don't really pick up Disney stuff because I just it's not my forte but i know there definitely is a disney following so yeah hopefully someone wants those and then this is a cnc california blouse 100 percent linen and i personally find that like linen printed items do well for me rather than just like solid pieces unless it's like a cool color or something but yeah so i think this will hopefully do well size small really cute style maybe around $18 for that. CNC California is just sold at like Marshalls and stuff. So didn't retail very, for very much. Um, this is super cute. It's a Hannah Anderson um, like rash guard one piece. I feel like every time I've gone to the bins, I've found like at least one really cool Hannah Anderson piece that I've picked up. Um, it is a larger kid size, it's a 12. So yeah, it was just, I just threw it in, you know, the 15 item bundles. But if you are getting like baby clothes and stuff at the bins, I think the pricing is technically a little bit less. I'll like put up a picture. It's, I think technically it's a little bit less than like the $2 per item. But I always just like throw in my kids stuff with like the 15 item bundles and stuff. So I just end up paying like $2 a piece. Um, Cause it, it's pretty expensive. Um, like for kids items, well, compared to like when it's by weight, because um, when it's by weight, you're paying like just cents for the pieces. But yeah, I think the difference isn't very notable when it comes to the kids pricing versus like other just regular clothes pricing. Um, I wish it was by the pound or just like cheaper, <laughs> like, you know, 15 kids pieces for $5 <laughs> or something, something cheaper. But that's just, you know, my two cents. But anyway, these are some BDG Urban Outfitters jeans. They're the high rise baggy, size 25. They don't seem very baggy to me though. Um, they do have some distressing, like they don't, I would like when you tell me baggy jeans, I'm thinking like super wide leg slouchy jeans. And to me, these just look like the BDG, like straight leg jeans I've sold before. But hey, high rise baggy, you know, I'll list them as that. Like the, they are a straight leg. So I guess that's multiple keywords there, baggy and straight leg. So again, hopefully we'll, jean sales will start picking up. 
um, probably just around like $20 for those. And then we've got some Billabong pants, size medium. And these are super nice. I like selling stuff like this because it surprisingly sells pretty quickly for me. Not for a ton, but I think these pants, you know, $15 to $18 for them. They're like a nice straight, maybe like a wide leg cropped pant. So good for this time of year over here in Southern California where it, you know, yeah, the sun is out, it's hot, but there's also a breeze. So it might be nice to wear pants like those instead of shorts or, you know, if you have a dress code, you can wear those as well. And then this was a pickup that was kind of out of my comfort zone because I don't really sell men's for one, let alone stuff like this I'm unbuttoning it it's like um I don't know a blazer a sport coat something like that but it's black corduroy and I thought it was super cool like the texture you know someone could and it's black so you can easily match it with stuff it's from this brand Hunt Row which I looked up and it doesn't seem to be anything notable but I also picked it up because it actually had a size. It wasn't like a custom piece. So it's a 42 short. It's just 100% cotton. And then lining is 100% polyester. Just, you know, a nice coat jacket though, I would think. So I'm hoping I could get at least 20 for it. But I'll list it a little bit higher than 20 and see what happens. Like I'll probably list it in like the 30, maybe $40 range. I'll see what comps indicate. Cause I know, I mean, jackets are expensive, sport coats are expensive. Um, but since I'm paying $2 for everything, if I can profit $20, I'm not gonna complain and I'll probably accept that offer. But yeah, if I could get more, that would be <laughs> great, obviously. Um, but yeah, another, like uh, this was also in the bin with the Torrid leggings but the other leggings I showed you were a four these are a two so it was kind of a range of sizes so maybe it wasn't from the same person but maybe it was um but anyway torrid size two leggings these have butterflies on them uh so that's cool they're like a cropped leg people like butterflies but probably just 15 for those or just leggings so maybe it's just honestly like 12 to 15 and then um, this I thought was cool because it's a swim romper. I've seen swim dresses and obviously like swim shorts, but I don't think I've ever seen a swim romper and that's cool. I think it's cool. So it kind of has this keyhole in the front and then shorts, as you can tell, it like has shorts and then it also has like, it's like a one piece under it and then like the shorts on top. And it looks like this brand, I know Target sells, like Target also sells like Land's End Swim in online. And so I don't know, I don't think this is a Target brand, but it is sold on Target, at least like the online Target store. It's called Aqua Green. It, it looks like it just retailed for like in the $40 range, but I think I could get, you know, 18 to 20 for this. I think it's cool. It's a size extra large. Um, so yeah, I, th I think it's cool. So I think someone else will think it's cool as well. Um, this next piece is a sweater. So might, you know, not sell super fast, but it's from Talbot's. It's a 1X and it does have some cashmere in it. It's really soft, like cable knit top part. And then the bottom is striped. So super nice sweater for fall, winter time. Very soft, I think around $20 for that sweater. And then last few items, um, another Torrid plus size piece. This is a t-shirt with some eyelet sleeves. And I love eyelet detailing on stuff. I think it's cool. This is a size 3X. It looks like it's in really good condition. Like it is white, but I couldn't find any stains or holes or anything, so. It's looking good. I'll look over it more closely later. Well, I'm going to wash everything. So after I wash it, I'll look it over and see if I could see any flaws. Um, yeah, this is something that was in my maybe pile. But then when I was like counting how much stuff I had, I threw it in so I could get an even 15 item bundle. 
it's Harajuku Lovers, so I'm assuming it's like Y2K. Maybe not though, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but it's just this t-shirt. It says Angel on it. And then on the back, it has this like graphic on the bottom. So I think, you know, this is someone's style. So I think, I don't know, like there's potential. I mean, I did look it up and some people have stuff like this listed pretty high, but it looked like they weren't selling that high. So I don't know, I'll probably list it maybe like $32 and see what happens. But yeah, last item, this is just a cabbie top, size medium. Again, eyelet detailing. I love eyelet detailing. It's like a layered top. So super cool for summer or maybe you could throw a cardigan over it for fall. I think it's nice, probably maybe around $20 for that. So yeah, that was my haul. A lot of bread and butter pieces, but I'm hoping a lot of this stuff sells relatively quickly. Especially because I, a lot of my stuff I tend to price on the lower end of what stuff is listed for. So that way hopefully people will buy my items instead of someone else's um, piece if um, it's the same exact thing. So yeah, I'm happy with what I got. Nothing, nothing crazy I feel like, but I think, you know, $2 per piece. The shoe's pretty inexpensive I feel like. So that was a success in my opinion. Uh, if you agree, you can give me a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for going thrifting with me.